DTM Balraj Arunasalam is an icon and a dedicated Toastmaster for 30 years. He is a member of four clubs including the first club in South Asia, the Colombo Toastmasters Club. He served as a club officer in the Colombo Toastmasters Club for 12 years and on the 13th year, he became the president of the Colombo Toastmasters Club. That shows his immense patience and sheer determination. Balraj secured the best Rotarian of the year from Rotary Club of Colombo West in 2008. He has led India and Sri Lanka as district governor. He is the only Sri Lankan Toastmaster to be honoured with the presidential citation at the International Convention held in Washington, D.C. in the year 2006 for his services rendered to the movement in South Asia. He is the recipient of three international awards for leadership. President's Distinguished District Award, International President's Club Extension Award, International President's 20 Plus Award. When we talk about his leadership and mentoring, we cannot forget the contribution he has given to create the first Asian world champion of public speaking in the year 2014-2015, TM Dhananjaya Hetiarchi. He is a gentleman who walks the talk. He is a successful entrepreneur and the first South Asian to hold an international officer position on the board of Toastmasters International. In a leadership journey which was commenced 30 years ago, President Balraj has many accomplishments to his credit to be recognized as a true leader who has not only contributed to the growth of the respective organizations that he has been associated with but to the society as well. He was the project chairman of Rural Voices Unlimited, a project that has been recognized by the U.S. State Department as a model project for the youth to enhance their communication and leadership skills. U.S. State Department confirmed that this project could be installed in 66 countries where the U.S. government conducts the Access English training course. The above project was conducted in five rural areas of Sri Lanka at the same time with the help of some dedicated Toastmasters. Numerous awards that he has received during his journey is a testimony as he is a firm believer in servant leadership. He continues to work for the betterment of communities both local and international through his experience, intellectual mindset, vision for growth and development spiced with his own set of unique values. His interests are management studies, reading, traveling, counseling youth on their careers and helping the underprivileged. Distinguished Toastmaster Balraj Arunasalam. Everyone, welcome to the 15th episode of Positive Media Channel. Today, we have an eminent guest with us who is the international past president of Toastmaster International, an organization which is 95 years old and have been developing better communicators and leaders all around the world. He has achieved the highest education award in Toastmasters, that is a Distinguished Toastmasters Award. Welcome Distinguished Toastmaster DTM Balraj Arnasalam. Nice to be here and thank you for having me. Thank you very much sir for accepting this uh, interview. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, right? So I would like to know that where were you born and how that place influenced you? You had been to my place of birth. So I was born in Kandy, okay. Sri Lanka and uh, that place itself is an inspiration and uh, I went, uh, did my education there. So that uh, I was uh, educated in a CMS college and that gave all the ingredients to add my uh, journey into my entrepreneurship and then also into my leadership in various organizations. Okay. How did you join Toastmasters? By accident. And what was that accident? <laughs> accident is one of my uncles, uh, I was doing club hopping between Lions, Rotary and then 
One of my uncle said there is a strange group called Toastmasters. Shall we go and check that out? I said, fine, we'll go. And I went there and I saw people speaking and people getting evaluated and getting stripped apart. And I thought, uh, this is fun. I am not going to speak or lead here. But let me join and enjoy this fun. And then I also thought, 5.30 in the evening, after a hard day's work in a five-star hotel, you get three pastries, cake, iced coffee, iced tea. Who wants to speak? <laughs> that's what I. That's why I joined Toastmaster. How long have you been a Toastmaster now? Thirty years. Going to be thirty-one now. Wow, I'm just thirty-five. <laughs> <laughs> so you are giving you speeches. Long <laughs> yes, yes. How has Toastmaster impacted your life? Oh, it has really impacted my whole life. And it has honestly changed my life in every aspect. And it has changed my professional life, personal life, family life, and in the lives of many others who have come in touch with me are because of Toastmasters. Wow. And you have traveled around the world when you were the international president, gone across many districts. So. Can you give us any tip on cultural intelligence and how joining Toastmasters can help us become a better person in terms of understanding cultures? I have led the Toastmasters movement here as a district governor for India and Sri Lanka. That's whole of India and the whole of Sri Lanka. That in itself is a cultural education. If you want to learn about cultures in a district leadership, that's, you know, how many cultures are there in India. I mean, every state is another culture. And there is more than 800 dialects which is spoken in India. So do you really want to get anything more than that in terms of cultural understanding in leadership? I think that was my learning laboratory for leadership. And then when you go out in the world and go to countries like Australia, Canada, USA, New Zealand, everywhere where uh, migration happens, you get 113 nationalities in the US and you walk into a club, there will be 25 different nationalities in a single club. So. Toastmasters is a place to respect culture, to learn culture and to love and uh, live the cultures of many in a single setting under the name of Toastmasters umbrella. Wow. We have heard that you like children and you spend a lot of time with children. Can you talk about Gavel Club? Because we have a Gavel Club which is trilingual. Uh, the kids speak in English, Hindi and Malayalam. What advice would you give as an international, past international uh, president to our Gavaliers? Uh, to my Gavaliers, sir, uh, to the Gavaliers of uh, your clubs, my only appeal is that they must leave this program not because of Toastmasters, not because they have to be Toastmasters in the future, uh, because this will give all the ingredients necessary for them to excel in their college life. To be the person they are meant to be, to be the leader they are meant to be, to be the student they are meant to be, uh, with bubbling confidence. So Toastmasters program at the Gabel level uh, will boost their confidence in order to face the challenges and you know today that all the challenges students go through in their college life uh, they will face all these challenges with confidence if they are a Gavelier because of the Toastmaster spirit and the Toastmasters program. I love working with children because they are our future leaders and they are the tomorrows and so that is why I love to work with kids and I also my passion is working with young adults all those aspiring leaders in Toastmasters and even otherwise are because they are our future. Wow. 30 years in Toastmasters. Has there ever been a time when you felt you want to leave this organization? One, whenever I think I am tired and if I can, whenever you think I must slow down, there is someone who comes to you for asking help and 
then you cannot withdraw yourself if you talk of servant leadership. And the next thing is there is never a dull moment when you see people changing in front of your eyes. And how the hell can you withdraw uh, the enthusiasm when people change their lives because of you being there as a catalyst in a very small and humble way. So there's never been a dull moment for me in the 30 years. And in 30 years, have I learned all the skills in Toastmasters? Absolutely not. I feel that I have learned about 30% of the Toastmasters skills. There is much more to learn. Every meeting is another experience. Every district visit is another experience. Every board meeting has been another rich, rewarding experience. So there's never been a dull moment for me in my Toastmasters journey. Wow. What could be the one change you would like to make in Toastmasters if you had the authority and if you were in the board right now? Whether authority is, I'm not sure whether that is uh, needed, but whether I were in the, uh, if even if I was on the board today or if I'm not on the board today, uh, that's a matter of positions. But what's one thing that I love to do in Toastmasters to create leaders? A leader's job is to create leaders, not followers. You also need to have followers to when you lead. But when you have bled, your job is to create leaders. That's what I do. And how would you define leadership? Leadership is not a position. Leadership is a call of service. And if you serve, you're a leader. If you go to manage, you're a manager. So it's not about you. It's the people who come in a touch with you. It is the people whom you serve and it is the people whom you really help transform and change their lives. And that to me is leadership. And it is not just a position to exercise your authority. So basically a servant leader. Yes. We have to be a lifelong servant leader. Yes. Leadership is not about you being a servant. So in next 10 years, where do you see yourself in Toastmasters? Creating leaders. In which part of the world? Wherever I travel in the world or whenever I go, whenever I go to the conventions and every, whenever they, people want some help, I will ever be ever willing to help them and uh, keep creating leaders. And 10 years from now, I'm sure Toastmasters organization will be in much better place for what the world is going through today face-to-face -face communication cannot be replaced by any machines or by any means in the world and we are in the right place for the right reasons and that's what I would see uh, doing in the next 10 years. So face-to-face -face communication, when we started, we started off with English. Today we have almost 7 to 8 language, Tamil being recently added and there are many Malayalam clubs uh, in this region and Hindi clubs also. So could we see a uh, flow of lot of language clubs and can be the future, can that be the future of Toastmasters? Language club is not the future of Toastmasters. It is the spirit of Toastmasters is the future of Toastmasters. If you have the right reason to form language clubs in different languages, we already have 10 now. So if you have the reason for the right reason to form language clubs, or uh, you know, you can with the permission of the two board and permission of the Toastmasters International, you can go ahead and form those clubs. Uh, but, and there is a process. There is those process that has to be followed. Uh, and then if the need is there, and if the mass is there, if the potential is there, of course the organization be, will be uh, welcoming uh, languages in the future. Okay, so we have a ray of hope. Uh, definitely all languages have a ray of hope provided there is potential and there is an absolute necessity, necessity uh, to start in that language. Wow. What advice would you give to the new leaders, the club leaders? Because what we are seeing is, as we go up, the you know, the the hierarchy becomes less and less. For like club, we have seven XCOM area is one division district, so the opportunities are less. But the challenge is, we are finding less leaders. How to develop more leaders? If you are finding 
less leaders as your challenge or uh, that means you're not creating leaders right uh, there is nothing no dirt for leadership beyond the club level if you put your area council into play there is more than seven position and if you put the division council into play there is more than seven position if you get the district council in place there is humpty number of positions than seven leaders so leadership opportunities at all levels multiply and go beyond the club leadership of just seven members uh, but it, the club leadership is the laboratory for leadership that is where you need to learn the art and nuances of good leadership and that is what will make you the leader you're meant to be growing up moving up the ladder of leadership wow thank you very much dtm uh, balraj arna salam we wish you another 30 years of toast fostering and as long as you live keep creating leaders thank you very much for being on positive media channel. thank you and thank you for having me and wish you all the best in your journey of leadership my friend thank you sir. and also wish you all the best and all those people who are listening to this video welcome to toastmasters enjoy your journey in toastmasters please subscribe to positive media channel for future updates also click the bell icon for timely updates do share our youtube link among your friends and family